Tesla's humanoid robot Optimus has attracted global attention ever since Elon Musk unveiled the first prototypes. Most people only see a machine that can walk, bend, and lift objects inside a factory. On the surface, it might look like just another research robot. But the real story of Optimus is not what we see. The hidden technologies behind it, never before mentioned, will be uncovered in today's episode. Don't click away. In the next 30 seconds, I'll show you Tesla's most secret update about Optimus. Before we begin, if you love staying ahead on Tesla and AI tech, hit subscribe now. You'll be the first to know the breaking news. Beneath the Optimus shell lies an integrated system of artificial intelligence, advanced hardware, energy storage, and software reuse that no other robotics company can match. Tesla is not building Optimus as an isolated experiment, but as the embodiment of its entire ecosystem. The data from over 6 million self-driving cars, the AI supercomputer Dojo, custom-designed chips, a global battery supply chain producing over 100 gigawatt-hours annually, and cost-efficient manufacturing at scale across 12 factories worldwide. This convergence creates what could be described as the hidden technology of Optimus, the reason why its long-term impact may extend far beyond today's industrial robotics. The core of this hidden power is artificial intelligence. Tesla has invested over $2 billion developing its Dojo supercomputer, announced in 2021 as the most ambitious AI training cluster built outside traditional tech giants. Dojo is designed to reach 1.1 exaflops of processing capacity, a staggering figure equivalent to 1.1 quintillion floating point operations per second. That level of computation surpasses what 12,000 NVIDIA A100 GPUs would deliver combined. While other robotics companies rely on simulations or small-scale data collection, Optimus is linked directly to this system, meaning it is trained not in a lab vacuum, but in the real world. Every mile, driven by a Tesla car, over 100 billion miles annually, contributes to its brain. Every unusual pedestrian movement, sudden obstacle, or complex interaction recorded on the road becomes part of the 50 petabytes of data that Optimus can learn from. This is an unprecedented feedback loop because the robot does not just mimic human motions. It develops decision-making skills grounded in trillions of real-world frames. No competitor has this advantage. Boston Dynamics, for all its remarkable demonstrations of agility, still programs robots primarily through controlled environments with datasets limited to under one terabyte. Agility Robotics deploys digit into warehouse trials, but its learning is capped at 10,000 hours of repetitive logistics tasks. Tesla, on the other hand, leverages a fleet of more than 6 million cars that collectively generate 1.5 exabytes of data yearly. If a Tesla vehicle can recognize a pedestrian crossing in heavy rain or a bicycle swerving across traffic, then Optimus can adapt those recognition models to spot a coworker moving across a factory floor or a piece of equipment blocking its path. Elon Musk has been clear. The real value of Optimus is not its physical movement, but its neural network, trained by the same infrastructure that makes self-driving cars smarter every day. Once the models are built, scaling them across millions of robots requires almost no additional cost, with production costs projected at under $20,000 per unit at scale. Hardware is the second layer of this hidden story. Energy consumption has always been the biggest barrier to humanoid robots. A robot that drains its battery within an hour cannot be economically useful. Tesla confronted this problem through breakthroughs in actuators, weight reduction, and battery design. Its new generation of actuators reduces energy consumption by roughly 30% compared to the first prototype. To put that in perspective, if an early version of Optimus could operate for five hours in a factory before running out of power, the latest generation can sustain an eight-hour shift under the same battery conditions. That difference is not trivial. It determines whether a robot is a flashy demo or a function now worker. Weight efficiency plays a role as well. By integrating advanced composite materials similar to those tested in the Model S Plaid, Tesla has trimmed the overall body weight of Optimus Gen 3 by 10 to 15%. At a height of about 5 feet 8 inches and a mass between 56 and 60 kilograms, shaving off 7 or 8 kilograms reduces energy expenditure by 5 to 7 percent. Less weight means better balance, less strain on motors, and longer battery endurance. 
Every small percentage counts when the target is an entire day of continuous work. At the center of this balance is the battery pack. Tesla equips Optimus with a compact 2.3 kilowatt hour pack, far smaller than the 75 to 100 kilowatt hour packs found in a Model Y, but precisely optimized for the robot's duty cycle. That capacity allows Optimus to run more than eight hours without recharge, equivalent to powering the average lighting needs of an American household for a full day. The cleverness lies not just in the energy density, but in the placement. The pack is embedded within the torso to act as a stabilizing weight, imitating how humans rely on their chest mass for balance. The cost structure of this battery is equally crucial. Thanks to Tesla's mass production of 4680 cells, battery costs have already fallen below $100 per kilowatt hour. That means the entire pack for Optimus costs only about $230. In robotics, where battery systems typically account for a significant share of overall expense, this figure is almost shocking. Competitors building low-volume robots cannot access such economies of scale. Tesla, with its gigafactories and global supply chain, can produce energy storage at a fraction of what the rest of the industry pays. This is the silent advantage that makes a consumer market robot plausible. Software integration completes the triad. Rather than building new processors from scratch, Tesla repurposes its full self-driving chips inside Optimus. These chips already handle perception and planning for autonomous vehicles, tasks that overlap with what a humanoid robot requires. Object detection, path planning, collision avoidance, all are transferable. The difference lies in the domain. Cars deal with streets and traffic, robots with rooms and hallways. But the architecture remains the same. Tesla can simply port its neural networks into Optimus, adjust the training data, and achieve competence in robotics without incurring fresh development costs. The economic implications are striking. Every Tesla vehicle on the road is essentially funding the AI backbone that Optimus inherits. Training that costs hundreds of millions of dollars for cars becomes almost free when applied to robots. This is why Elon Musk has predicted that Optimus may eventually be cheaper than a family sedan. Batteries cost only a few hundred dollars, chips are reused from existing programs, and the software is already trained at scale. Once mass manufacturing is in place, the marginal cost per robot drops dramatically, turning what was once science fiction into a product that could reach households and workplaces worldwide. The magic of Optimus does not lie in any single breakthrough. It is the integration of AI, hardware, and software under a vertically unified company. Dojo provides the brain, actuators, and lightweight composites provide the body, and Tesla's battery innovations provide the heart. Alone, none of these elements would be revolutionary. Together, they form a system no other robotics company has replicated. This is the essence of Tesla's hidden technology, a robot built not as a lab curiosity, but as an extension of a global production and AI infrastructure. Tesla has deliberately remained vague about the details of Optimus's energy system. Musk has only teased that the robot can work a full day on one charge. But when the clues are pieced together, the secret is not a mysterious new battery chemistry. The secret is integration. A 2.3 kilowatt hour pack by itself is modest, but combined with a 30% energy reduction in actuators, a lighter frame, and software optimized by billions of driving miles, it becomes transformative. Energy that would normally last a couple of hours in a conventional humanoid robot now sustains an entire shift. That is the quiet engineering achievement hidden beneath the spectacle of dancing robots on stage. If Tesla succeeds, Optimus may become the first humanoid robot to escape the laboratory and enter daily life at scale. It represents the next stage of Tesla's broader mission, not just building electric cars, but creating a platform for artificial intelligence embodied in machines. Cars were only the first robots, ones that roll on wheels. Optimus is the next, one that walks on legs. The hidden technology inside it, the integration of AI, hardware, and energy, may mark the beginning of a new era in which machines are not tools, but co-workers. And that, more than any choreographed demo, is the reason why Optimus could reshape the global economy in the decades ahead. How affordable is the Tesla bot Gen 3 Optimus? You also need to be very good at scale manufacturing. So in order to have the robot not cost like hundreds of thousands of dollars, in order to make it cost like you know, ten or twenty thousand dollars. When folks hear price, 
they often tense up, expecting a hit to the wallet. But Tesla is changing that story entirely. Elon Musk has mentioned multiple times, specifically three occasions, that the Optimus humanoid robot should eventually cost under $20,000. This positions Tesla as a pioneer in making smart robots accessible in an era of advanced automation. Recent posts from Musk on X suggest a $60,000 price for both Optimus and the Cybercab down the line, but that's contingent on Tesla achieving large-scale production. Earlier this year, Elon Musk gave a peek into Tesla's upcoming plans. By the close of 2025, Optimus, their humanoid robot, might be available for purchase. Of course, don't expect bargain basement pricing right away. Like any innovative technology, the initial phase involves significant investment in research, adjustments, and scaling up manufacturing. Thus, the debut Optimus models could range from $50,000 to $70,000. Yet, that's what makes it exciting. This isn't merely a cost, it's an entry point. Tesla's long-term vision for Optimus is to reach a price of $20,000 to $30,000 once volume production ramps up. That's under half the price of an average electric vehicle now. More crucially, it redefines concepts of work, productivity. Early purchasers may shell out more initially, but they'll probably enjoy the biggest advantages first. Why? Optimus isn't simply an assistant, it's a productivity booster. From putting together parts in manufacturing plants to helping seniors at home or handling tough jobs non-stop, this robot never gets ill, requires downtime, or demands regular retraining. Essentially, you're investing in reliability, output, and the ability to shift human employees to more strategic roles. Elon Musk has emphasized that the first generation won't be broadly released. Tesla aims to use around 1,000 Optimus units in its facilities initially. This is a clever strategy, perfecting its functionality in actual settings before selling to outsiders. In this in-house period, Tesla can enhance both the robot and the spaces it operates in. For buyers, this ensures that Gen 3, the version for external markets, will be battle-hardened, improved, and prepared. Picture heading to your go-to gadget store and spotting a display. Tesla bought Gen 3, just $30,000. After all, existing humanoid robots often exceed six figures. But that's the hint Elon Musk dropped in a June 2024 discussion with investors. Gen 3 is ready to disrupt the scene with a price comparable to a pre-owned car, not an extravagant boat. For individuals on limited pension, social security, or basic savings, $30,000 could still feel high until you compare it to standard caregiving expenses. Take a home caregiver at $25 hourly, for two hours daily, five days weekly, that's more than $13,000 yearly, not including bonuses or extra time. Over three years, you're out up to $40,000 frequently without assured steadiness if the caregiver is unavailable or quits. By comparison, a single buy of Tesla Bot Gen 3 means no ongoing arrangements. It's always ready, dependable, and vacation-free. Across five years, even adding some upkeep and repair costs, it's still way less than relying on people for assistance. Robots can fail. You could counter. Valid concern but Tesla's global repair infrastructure for vehicles is already established. If your bot requires service, it can head to a nearby center or get picked up by a tech without astronomical fees. To frame it differently, it's like swapping your reliable old car for one that also whips up breakfast, sort of. You'd be upset if your beat-up ride broke down in bad weather, yet we tolerate paying twice as much for inconsistent human help. Gen 3's pricing challenges that mindset. Since this isn't like financing a house, Tesla plans to introduce payment options suited for seniors. Minimal or no interest, extended periods, and maybe credits for trading in aids like walkers or elevators. If it seems unrealistic, recall Musk's history of price drops. The Model 3 went from $35,000 to below $30,000 in mere months. While we're dealing with figures, the core is accessibility. Tesla isn't pushing a robot. They're providing a world where cutting-edge tech integrates into everyday lives, finances, and households. That's a discussion that matters. Consider the big picture. Influential people and companies where automation is essential, not optional. Think Amazon, FedEx, or Walmart. These pioneers won't hesitate at $50,000 as the benefits are clear. Better operations, reduced labor expenses, and frankly, status. For stars, having an optimist could be as much about ease as flair.
Envision a famous creator or business leader offloading chores, planning, or a robot, gaining more free time. For Tesla, each prominent use is priceless promotion. You can't purchase the kind of buzz. Tesla won't leave buyers hanging. Before sales, they'll launch a leasing option, letting users try the tech before committing fully. Rentals might run $100 to $500 monthly, a modest fee for testing a revolutionary tool that may soon be vital in residences and enterprises. Although some fixate on the starting, the true tale is sustained worth. The early outlay is an opportunity, not an impediment. And for savvy individuals who grasp compounding benefits, what do you think about this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this. Join Techno Creator by subscribing and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.